Hello. I'm Clinton Graham, and I'm a systems developer at the University of Pittsburgh. So I don't have background in institutional advancement, and I don't have background in public speaking. So I'm stepping out in both of those areas here. My talk is sharing the wealth, opening funding. And what I hope to do is to describe a way that by sharing the wealth of the things that we are doing, we can fund through grant writing, through award nomination, the innovations that we want to do locally. So this presentation is a pitch. It's not a source of new funding. I'm not offering my own money. I am not hoping that you will steal grants from PKP. But I'm suggesting that if we share metrics and stories of the cool things that we're doing together, we can together create easier ways to write grants. So the background for this talk is a sprint that we hosted in Pittsburgh. A PKP sprint is a face-to-face -face event where developers and editors and industry partners all come together to work to improve our products. We completed a sprint just prior to this conference here in Barcelona. We worked on documentation, on translation, on user experience, on architecture, and coding. And I wanted to bring a sprint to Pittsburgh, which would have been the first in the US. I imagined up to 40 participants coming together and working together for three days. But these things cost money, and we don't charge anyone for them to participate in the sprint. So I dreamed big, and I wanted to provide funding even for those who didn't have an institution who would be able to send them to Pittsburgh to work with us. And so I made a budget for food, for housing, for travel, and for logistics. My university offered a local micro-grant where Pitt sought to enhance its global impact. The provost offered 50% matching funds for a project with goals of interdisciplinarity, collaboration, and institutional and community impact. So can anyone think of a global organization that might be collaborating across disciplines to impact multiple institutions and communities. I wrote a grant for PKP and this sprint. It was rejected, unfortunately. Pitt also has a award internally which highlights and celebrates community-oriented partnerships where there's mutual benefit for everyone including benefit to the broader public good. And a cash award of $2,000 was available. So can you think of any international partnerships which are built on mutual benefit and community engagement? I nominated our relationship with PKP. It was also rejected. But despite being unsuccessful in both of those funding attempts, I got some time to think about the process of making these requests. And I was particularly interested in all of the numbers and examples that I had gathered as supporting evidence within the application. So my applications both referenced the work we were doing locally at Pitt and referenced the work that PKP is doing at large. And I think I worked way too hard to find all of this. I want to make it easier to collect these statistics these metrics, these stories. So for all the cool stuff we are doing locally and worldwide, how do we document it and how do we share it? One example of a category that I think would be interesting to quantify is interdisciplinarity. We work together as, co as collaborators across disciplines 
we're integrating the contributions of computer programmers, of academic and professional publishing staff, of industry partners, of nonprofit partners, and then all of that goes into interdisciplinary work. So for the PKP Sprint at Pittsburgh, our event supporters included faculty from engineering, from health and rehabilitation sciences, and from sociology. And when you add in the perspectives of the library publishers, the librarians themselves, the technologists, you get this robust story of collaboration. So, what would this look like statistically? I want to be able to find the counts of contributor disciplines. What were the interactions that built the software, that built the partnerships? I want to be able to find counts and metrics on the published disciplines. How were the publishers or the works themselves interdisciplinary? I want to be able to tell the story. So for example, at Pitt, we have a journal that is called Leslie. It's an interdisciplinary journal for linguists, computer scientists, psychologists, psychiatrists, attorneys, law enforcement, security executives, and intelligence analysts, an intentionally interdisciplinary journal. Ledger is another journal we publish. It is an interdisciplinary journal about blockchain and cryptocurrency technology, asking questions of the intersections with mathematics, computer science, engineering, law, and economics. Another common funding category is impact. We can highlight the impact that PKP is having on the academic publishing in general and on open access broadly. We have broad install base around the world. We have PKP doing its own research and open access initiatives. There's also impact within the organization in our sprint funding. I cited PKP as a reason that the University of Pittsburgh is now considered a leader in the field of library publishing. And that interdisciplinary collaboration itself is an impact on the institution. But if you're a funder, maybe the most interesting thing that you're looking for is the impact within the community. And so for our award nomination, I described how our publishing programs amplify local and diverse and underrepresented voices within scholarly communications. At Pitt, we have journals that are at work in areas like cultural studies, health disparity, and underserved communities. So what would that look like in terms of statistics? How many journals have collectively we flipped from print or subscription-based publishing to electronic open access? I want to be able to easily collect metrics like that, or traditional metrics, bibliometrics, alt metrics. I want to be able to get access to them and describe the way that our articles are being shared, cited, read. I can tell stories about the August Wilson Journal at the University of Pittsburgh, which is a new journal on the scholarship of a local African-American playwright and his legacy in Pittsburgh, or the Journal of Anthropology and Aging, which is a cultural and historic study of the elderly across cultures and environments and the health disparity that comes in with those environments. Another area that I had experience with was global reach. And this is easy to brag with PKP because we have a strong history of being multilingual, both in the translation of the user interface and in supporting the multilingual entry of metadata and disseminated content. Recent work at the Sprint, even this week, will make that so much easier to quantify. The software has also been addressing challenges of internationalization when it considers the ex cultural expectations for names, global identity disambiguation, legal requirements, cultural conventions, and PKP is distributed worldwide. So, for a statistic, was OJS2 available in 34? or 36 languages. Depending on where you look, there's different numbers because probably of the completeness of the translation. And how complete is our coverage in OMP3 and OJS3? We'll be able to tell that much better based on the work of the sprint and moving our translation platform. But let's also refine our installation counts. PKP collects information about how many counts, how many installations there are around the world. 
that's not easy for any of us to look at and cite within our own work. At the University of Pittsburgh, the Bolivian Studies Journal uh, uh, publishes articles about Bolivian culture and literature in English, Spanish, and the native languages of Bolivia. My university is also known for its non-Western publications and collections, and so the Journal of Japanese Language and Literature provides a scholarly forum for Japanese literature, linguistics, teaching Japanese as a second language, and Japanese culture. All of these things are things that I think can be easily cited in a grant application. Final category, partnership. This is, I think, the core of the Public Knowledge Project. We operate on principles of the open movement and free software. We're based in an ethical position. All the work is done in collaborative and inclusive methods. Both the software and the research that our software creates is oriented toward the public good. Our shared governance is also an example of partnership. The technical committee, the members committee, the advisory committee are all made up of representatives of the partner organizations and of the community. So for statistics, we can gather the list of these development partners, these strategic partners, and describe that partnership. We can share numbers of participation in the sprints by region, by discipline, by organization, to illustrate the ways that we work together. I like to use the technical committee as a story. We have seven different institutions, plus community members from six different countries, coordinating across nine time zones. Our sprint last year in Heidelberg featured 17 countries working together on eight technical and non-technical projects. I know we had more than that diversity in the sprint here this week, but I don't have the numbers and I will have to pester Marissa to try to find them. I haven't covered all kinds of other categories that might be grant worthy, such as return on investment or innovation or sustainability or accessibility, because I'm interested in your feedback on what might be helpful. I think that by deliberately sharing these metrics and these stories, we'll all be able to quickly pursue small grant opportunities as they become available. So what if we collected these stories and shared them? What if we collected these metrics and shared them? That's my pitch. I know what makes Pitt's relationship with PKP special, and I can write that into a grant, but I also want to be able to cite all of the work that you all are doing as well. I want to be able to say, this is what we're supporting or this is what we're a part of, or this is what we aspire to. And I think that if we have that available, collectively we can strengthen our storytelling, we can strengthen our bragging, and we can strengthen our grant writing. And maybe my next grant won't be a big rejected, and maybe yours will be accepted too. So if you think that pitch could work, I will be here for your feedback. If you think that there are things that I'm overlooking because I am not a grant writer by profession, although I have had successful grants, I, I swear I have, just not this summer, then I'm interested in what pitfalls you see in this idea. Uh, um, you can also reach me at any of these handles, ctgram or ctgram at pit.edu. Thank you.